We're peachy. Okay, shall we get the beer out of the shop? Right guys, I'm Tom. Welcome back to Tasty Business. Today we're gonna make peachy cacio pepe. Peachy is like a little kind of worm shaped pasta. It's a long, thick kind of spaghetti shape. Hand rolled, no pasta machine needed. So I'm using fine semolina, zero zero flour, parmesan, pecorino, black pepper, bit of butter, bit of olive oil. It's a simple dish, it's like five ingredients. Simple pasta dough, rolled by hand, well bought cheese, toasting the peppercorns, and that's it. It's gonna be a banging pasta dish from Rome. It's tasty. So for the dough, we need equal amounts of fine semolina, zero zero flour and water. So I'm going in 200, 200, 200. Touch of olive oil in the dough, stiff dough. Bring it together in the bowl. Then we can tip it out and knead it on the workbench. Pull it back, push it down. We're just looking to get everything into a nice smooth dough. And you don't, I mean, for this, you don't need a pasta machine. It's a great, great sort of introduction to making fresh pasta. See it's sort of coming together now. Let it fully hydrate, it'll become very smooth and malleable. Once we've got it like that, we just wrap it up in cling film. Leave it to relax for half an hour. Chuck it over there. So for the sauce, whilst the dough is relaxing, we can just get everything ready. So we can get the cheese grated, the peppercorns toasted and then freshly ground in the pepper and water. And that's all we need to do. So we can relax whilst the dough is relaxing. That's key. So, whole peppercorns, we're just gonna toast them and we can release all the essential oils inside the corn and then, then it will, you know, you will get that nice flavor and aroma and it's almost like a sweet smokiness at the beginning. But you just lose flavor if you use pre-ground pepper. But you can use pepper grind if you want, you just toast it just pre-making pre the sauce. It's starting to sort of like pop slightly and just starting to get a nice, Nice aroma. Peppercorn's done, into the pestle and mortar. Pestle and mortar, you'll be able to grind a lot more pepper quickly. You're also, when you're adding it to the sauce, I can pick it up with my hand like this and sprinkle it in. You've got a bit more feel for how much pepper you're putting in. And then also, we've got a slightly coarser grind, probably, than the, than the pepper grinder. It's just a nice way to do it. It's, a, it's what our ancestors used to do. So there's a lovely, like, coarse-ish grind on the peppers. It smells really aromatic, it's, well, nicely perfumed. That's the pepe part. Now the cheese, the cacio part. So, um, Parmesan. It's a classic in Rome, it's uh, pe just, just Pecorino, Pecorino Romano. It's quite easy to recognise, it's got this black um, rind on it. And that's a goat's milk. Cheese in this uh, Parmesan, as you know, is a cow's milk cheese. I like using both. Parmesan's got a bit more depth of flavor. Um, the Pecorino is a bit more creamy. It's, it's, all, it's a hard milk cheese, but it's not as strong as, as, the, as the Parmesan. The salty, umami notes. So I'd like to combine the two. So just grate that, Mike Plain, very good for this. I'll go in by eye, but what you're roughly looking for is about 30 grams of each per portion. So if you just have them all grated, then you can, then you can just add and take away, sort of, I mean, it's, you can get very used to having a recipe, but you know, if you're just making, taking a feel for, for taste on what, you, what you're liking at the time when you're, flip, when you're seasoning the dish, you can, you know, it's cooking from the hip rather than relying so much on 20 grams of cheese. Like if you put in 25 grams of cheese, it's really not gonna make that much difference. In terms of the sauce, we're done. Cheese, pepper, butter, olive oil, 
that's the sauce done. We just need to wait to finish the pasta. Job's a good one. Okay, so the pasta's rested for half an hour. You just want to take it out and you, you need to start portioning it. You can portion the whole lot. I'm just going to portion a small bit because that's all we need for now. But you basically want to portion it into equal size pieces and we're looking for about 10 to 15 gram pieces of, uh, of dough. Have a feel for it. Um, like, well, we're going for about 12, 12 inches. Oh, but that's a 12er. And then we're going to lay that semolina flour on the tray. You don't want to put any sem uh, flour really on the on the bench because you need that sort of fri you need that friction to be able to roll out the the peachy. So we're going to go 10 to 12 pieces. So you're just using your hands to sort of just pull the dough apart, and they do it does shrink back in. When you mix flour and water together, it becomes elastic. It's the it's the water content, it's the little bits of olive oil in there. Okay, so we've got to finish this peachy. Water's boiling. Just need to make sure it's well seasoned. Lightly, light sea water. Good stuff. Just always taste the water. Yep, salty enough. Peachy, okay, into boiling water. Again, just make sure it's moving around. Okay, so because the peachy is quite thick, it's going to cook for about three minutes, three, three, four minutes. And in that time, we can start our sauce, which is going to go into, so, tablespoon of butter. Just a touch of olive oil. This, this fat's just going to help emulsify. Some, some people in Italy are saying, Ah, oh, it's not catch your bed because you are the butter and the and this and this. Tastes good. So butter, olive oil, water. And who cares if we've written the rules? I mean. Exactly, once you've learned the rules, you can break the rules exactly game. Take that. Okay, so now add the pepper to the butter and olive oil emulsion. And once the peachy's cooked, start to float to the surface. It's just gonna cook for the, up on there for a minute. Peachy into the butter. So we're gonna have to keep adding more liquid into that because the, you wanna have a good amount of liquid inside the pan when you put the cheese in because the cheese will just because it'll melt into the salt it'll just become really thick straight away so you want to make sure you've got enough enough of that pasta water in in with the peachy peachy's nicely cooked so what we're going to do good handful of uh, pecorino layer it over the top good handful of parmesan you just want to pull it off to the side a little bit. Let that cheese just gently melt on top a little bit before we mix it. Then once we mix, we're then going straight onto the plate. Okay. And now you see, mix it off the heat. See that all nicely start to emulsify. So you've got all that, all that cheesy goodness. See how it's probably like the sauce has gone a touch thick there. You want there to be visibly enough sort of sauce running around. So when we go onto the plate, it's just gonna drop on. And it's gonna sort of sit in its own, sit in its own sauce. That's how we wanna serve it. Just get a touch of parmesan, touch of pecorino. So, See, we've got a nice amount of sauce. Mm. Bang. Really good texture from the pasta. And the, the sauce is just like, you know, warm, peppery, intensely cheesy. It's a simple dish, but you just gotta make sure you nail those sort of elements. It's peppery, it's salty. 
it's fatty, it's delicious, it's, 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 it's techers. And it's tasty business. <laughs>